Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new mini series for you and this time it's about how to use Divi's new animation effects. We'll be exploring creative ways on how to create awesome looking page sections. These animation features are fun and easy to use as you shall see in this mini series. Now when you use the visual builder you can actually see all these animations come to life right before your eyes. So join me as we explore the power of Divi animation features. Okay, so welcome to part two of our six part mini series. So all we are going to need here is two images. The first image needs to be 880 by 600 pixels and the second one needs to be around 790 by 880 pixels. However, you can use any sizes depending on the design you're working on. So we're going to spend all our time on the uh, visual builder. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the design that we did in part one. So let's go ahead and add our new section. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button to add our regular section. And for this, we're going to need two columns. So I'm going to select this and then we're going to add an image module on the first column. So I'm going to select my image module, come over here to, to upload my image. And the image I'm going to use is right here. So I'm going to select it, click on upload an image. So now we can see that our image is now in our front end editor. Now it's time to go into the design tab. So I'm going to click this tab. Next, we're going to come here to sizing and we're going to force this to full width that. And then we're going to go on to our animation tab and set up our animation. So the animation we're going to use here is the slide. So I'm going to select it. Our animation direction needs to be left and the intensity needs to be dialed down to about 20% because we, we don't want this to be too intense. Right. And then over here on the animation starting opacity, we're going to set this over to 100%. Okay, so I'm going to save. And then we're going to come over here to this column and add a divider. So I'm just going to search for it and select my divider. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to show the divider. So I'm going to set this to yes, so that we can see the divider. And then I'm going to come over here to my design tab, click on the color, and we're going to set our color over here. Now, if you would like to use the same colors that I'm using throughout this tutorial, you can go over to our post, which I'll link to in the, post, in the show notes below. Next, I'm going to come over here to sizing and set our uh, divider weight to four pixels. And then over here for our width, it's going to be set to 80 pixels. Now, it's important that you type 80 pixels in because by default, this is set to a percentage. So you need to type the, the actual value in this area here. Here on the module alignment, let's align this to the left. And then we're going to come over here to spacing. So for the top, we're going to set this to 60. And for the bottom, zero. Now it's time to set our animations. So I'm going to come over here to animation, select fold. And you can see here that our animation tab is pretty much on every module so you can get creative with this as much as you want including the divider okay so now that we are here and we've selected fold our animation direction let's set this to right instead of center and then here for the duration let's set this to 1200 and then for our delay we're going to set this to 50 and then let's come over here to the intensity and bump this up to about 70 percent right so we're all set with our divider settings. I'm going to click on save and then we're going to add another module. And this time this is going to be a call to action module. So I'm going to search for it here and select it. Right. So let's start off with the uh, title. So the title is going to be the perfect view. And then the button text is going to be learn more. Now you can see here that we've added the button text, but the button is not showing over here on this call to action. So in order for this to show, you need to come over here to the link and add a link. But uh, for my example here, I'm just going to add a blank link just to make sure that the button shows. So just bear that in mind as you're working on your call to action. So for back over here to the text for the content, I'm just going to paste some dummy text from Lorem Ipsum. And because this color is not part of our palette, I'm going to come over here to our background and say no to use background color. So I know right now uh, we may not see our text. That's because we need to add a background, which we'll do in the next step. Okay, now it's time to go to the design tab. So let's go over here to our text and make sure that it's aligned to the left and it's set to dark so that we can see it. Excellent. So we're going to come over here to our header text and make sure that it's all all caps and it needs to be set to Leto. 
Right, so for our header font size, we're gonna set this to 38. And then we're also gonna set up, set the color here to a dark gray. And the letter spacing here is gonna be set to, let's say 0 0.2. And then finally for our header line height, let's set this to 1.4. Now, the reason why we're setting this to 1.4 is because we wanna make sure that this is uh, readable because this was quite close to our text right here on the bottom. Right, next, let's go over here to our body text and customize it. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add our color. So I'm gonna come over here and paste my hexadecimal value for my color. We're gonna change the size to 18 pixels. And again, we can see here that our paragraph is, uh, the lines between our paragraph are too close together. So we can adjust that by adding our body line height. So we're just gonna do this a little bit, just to about 1.8. So we can see now that uh, now it's much easier to read. Okay, so now just to make sure that our design is all working together, we need to adjust the button here. So in order for us to do that, we need to come over here to our button and activate use, use custom styles for button because by activating this, we are able now to get all the features that we need here to customize our button. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my button text color. So I'm gonna paste my color in here. For our text size, this is a bit too uh, too big so let's set it down to about let's set it to about 15 and then for our background color now this is going to be an rgba value now the rgba has a transparency value to it so that's why you need to add your your values in the brackets like that so next let's set our border width to zero next we're going to come over here to our button letter spacing set this to two and then for our font, we're gonna set this to Lato. This is just to continue with our consistency. We're gonna make this bold and all uppercase. Right, so for, for our button icon, we're gonna set this to the right arrow. So I'm gonna select it here. And then if you scroll down here, we can see here that um, this will only show, this arrow will only show when I, uh, when I put my mouse over uh, the button, but we don't want that. So in order for us to, say, to disable that, we can come over here to only show icon on hover for the button and set that to no. So this will always be there if we deactivate this. Right, now it's time to go and set our animation. So I'm gonna come over here to animation. We're gonna go for fold, and then the animation direction needs to be set to right. So let's start over here with our animation duration and we're gonna set that to 1200 and then the delay needs to be set to 50 and the animation, the animation intensity to 70%. Next, let's go ahead and save. So now it's time to go into our row settings. So I'm gonna click this gear icon here, click on design and we're gonna come over here to sizing and click on use custom width. Now this is where you get to set the size of the width depending on how you want it to be. So we've activated here by clicking on use custom width. So there's two ways you could do this. You can use the pixels or you can use the, uh, the percentage. So for this example, we're going to use the pixels. So we're gonna set this to 1366. So next we're going to add some custom code, which is called the Z index. Now, since our image is going to be on the right column, we need, the, we need that column to stay on top of the text animating to the left. So by using the Z index uh, 999, this will make that happen. So I'm gonna come over here, click on the advanced tab, custom CSS. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to column two main element, and we're gonna paste our CSS code. And as I mentioned before, our CSS code here can be found on the post, which I'll include in the show notes below. Okay, so next let's go ahead and save. Okay, so the next stage is to duplicate this row. So I'm gonna come over here and click on duplicate row. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, swap over what we have here on the top. So we're gonna have this image on the right and then the, uh, and then the call to action on the left. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna drag this over to the right like that, and then come over here and drag this over to the left. So make sure you drag everything because what I dragged before was just the divider. Okay, so finally we need to change the column structure. So I'm gonna come over here and click this little icon here and our column structure is going to be this one, two thirds and one third like that. So all we have to do now is to go into these modules and make some adjustments. Right, so let's start with the divider. So I'm gonna come over here to my design settings, click on design. So first of all, we need to align this to the right. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and then align to the right. And then we're gonna come over here to the animation. And for the animation direction, we're gonna set this to left like that. 
click on save. Now it's time to adjust all our settings in our call to action. So I'm gonna click this gear icon to access my settings. And then I'm gonna come over here to design. For our header text, I'm gonna make sure this is aligned to the right. We're gonna go back here to the content, click on text, and we're gonna change the title to speaks for itself. And then back to the design, we're gonna to go to the body text, align this to the right. And then next we're gonna come over here to the width and we're gonna set this to 700 pixels. And again, this needs to be typed in. And then finally, we're gonna come over here to the animation and change the animation direction from right to left, like that. So that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then finally, I'm gonna change my image. So I'm gonna come over here to my module settings, click upload and this is the image we're gonna use. And this is the uh, 580 by 650. Click on upload an image. So there you have it. All you have to do now is to save, and then let's exit the Visual Builder and see our animations. I'm gonna save and exit. There we go. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.